Alessandre Frangioni, born in Sao Paulo, Brazil, self-taught artist since 2005. Alessandre, how are you today? Hi, Carly, and you? Very happy to be on chat, on Zoom, talking to you. <laughs> Alessandre, you are a self-taught artist. What was the reflection you made to decide to transform from being a chemical engineer to become an artist? Well, sometimes it's even a little bit difficult for me to, to express what happened, but uh, to understand a little bit, it's, it's important to, to know that when I started as a chemical engineer, was a career that I loved and was very interesting for me since the beginning. It was not a thing that was imposed to me, to me like my parents or something like that. And I, since I was very young, I, I thought that the chemical engineering career was, was a very good decision. But since I started to work with that and past uh, 25 years, after I, I began as a chemical engineer, the, the, the way that my career started to develop showed me that uh, I, I became more distant of the chemical engineer and became more an administrator of, of the industry and the places that I work for. And then some, some uh, magic, was lost in this in this moment at this moment and then what happened is that as a hobby i started to paint because i i always loved to 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 do painting and drawing since i was very young and it started growing uh, inside of me uh, the liberty of doing these paintings and the art uh, behind that and it's, I heard one expression that, say, that says, when the mosquito of the art bites you, you, you are contaminated <laughs> and then you can live without that. And then I started to move from my career from a chemical engineer to an artist. And I, I could finish that on, uh, I started I, I, the painting in 2005 but I, it, I take around 10 years to, to do the movement from, from this hobby to be a, an artist. Well, I guess you know by now that your career has no end, right? It's yeah. forever <laughs> on the same path. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, throughout your creative ability, you have executed series like Exodus, Coins, QR codes, saved, memory, symbols, values, among others. They all seem to have a clear a political and financial concept behind. At least I perceive it like that. Those are serious messages that seem never be overrated. What is the inspiration? Well, I think that uh... First of all, I see those series as uh, maybe because uh, I'm more uh, in connection with all the, the projects that I, I start. I think that it's a more a, glo a global view of what we can see in human, humankind. Uh, what, what you see uh, is that the human has uh, specific things inside of it like um, uh, it's like written in their DNA things like uh, they want uh, self uh, confidence they want to be recognized among the the society they like to be uh, secure in different ways financial ways and uh, this kind of expressions re regarding what I see in the human, uh, it's what I use as um, 
a structure to, to start our my projects. Of course, that some some of those projects they have um, more specific lines of thoughts, but usually I'm talking about how the society, not the, only the contemporary society, but the histor historical society, society moves along the the, the history. Definitely, um, society is also a topic that would never be overrated. No question. Yeah, of course. <laughs> now, you use different materials. 3D print, which is very present in this era. Metal, wood, photography. They all somehow uh, seem to be very expressional and reflect a um, completely um, meticulously finishing. How do you choose your materials? Is there any specific uh, referral to each series? Uh, well, it depends, of course, that every artwork, it's, it's a, a different one. And even inside of a series, you can uh, choose different materials. And of course, that the materials are, are linked to the, what's the intention behind of the artwork. Uh, as being an, um, uh, previously an engineer, of course, the, the materials for me are very important because I, I look uh, each project with uh, a different look. Uh, I, I try to um, imagine which materials we will complement the idea behind the, the artwork. I can give you like an example. When I, I made the, the series uh, safes, that I have the safe that's uh, in acrylic, the first idea that I, that I had was to use glass. And then uh, I start to make some testings with, with the glass, but I, I, I thought that was not very uh, in the look that the finished uh, artwork was. It, it was not um, interesting and it was too fra fragile. Then I have to move to the acrylic to fulfill the idea of the intention behind of the, 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 the artwork, the series behind it. And then the, the materials, sometimes I have to, to do some tests to make sure that uh, I'm looking for the right material to have this uh, aesthetic point of view that I would like to, to show in the final artwork. So much to discover about Alessandro Frangioni.